in today's video i want to share with you my unboxing of the hamilton beach ice cream maker now i'm not sure whether you're aware but i tried making an avocado and banana ice cream without an ice cream maker and i'm just linking that in the description down below now my dad decided to gift me with an ice cream maker and of course i hopped onto amazon which is like my go-to retailer for everything i'm also linking that in the description down below i hopped onto amazon with the the coins that, that he gave to me and i found some really good reviews on the hamilton beach ice cream maker now why hamilton beach well i have a couple other kitchen appliances in this same brand and i've had those appliances for years and they have been going strong and they have never disappointed me and that was the reason why i gravitated more towards this brand than any other brand so i'm just going to go through with you what's on the inside for those of you who may be looking you're looking for an ice cream maker yes i know it's approaching the winter in the us and most other uh, north american countries but if you're in the caribbean and you're looking for an ice cream maker then this has to be it because it's a trusted brand and of course for those of uh, our neighbors in the us and in north america of course summer is just around the corner right and if you're in the market for an ice cream maker you may want to contemplate trying out this brand if yours is broken or you're looking to refresh your kitchen appliances all right so i'm just gonna bring down my camera just a little bit just so that you can see all the content excuse my short shorts guys i'm in the caribbean where it's sunny most days so yeah short pants are like a regular thing in my attire right so i'm just gonna go through and open up the box just for you to see what the contents are of course it comes neatly packaged with a whole lot of other boxy thingies i'm assuming this is the top <laughs> now i grew up in an era where we used an old can and we turned it manually to make ice cream so this i've never bought a new age ice cream maker before until now so thank you daddy <laughs> yes i'm just gonna take apart all the trappings and yeah i'm gonna figure out what it does momentarily right so this is gonna stay right here right just on the outside it says of course it's in different languages i only speak english right um the capacity is four four liters which is quite a lot of ice cream for just me my dad and my son uh, there's 20 recipes included inside so I'm really really curious about that because I love trying new things so I'm definitely going to be having some fun with these 20 recipes and of course it says that it's delicious uh, versatility enjoy ice cream for frozen yogurt custards sorbet sorbet, sorbet <laughs> or gelato with your favorite candy cookies or fresh fruit uh, it's an all right, I'm getting some competition from <laughs> a little birdie. Apparently, this is the easy lock lid. Yeah, that goes on top. If you notice here, thank God for this box and the um, directions, right? And of course, fully automatic, no stirring. Now, in my last recipe, I was, after I blended the mixture, avocado, banana, sour soap, I put some flavorings in there. I was stirring every, every hour after i put uh, the mixture in the freezer so now thank god this ice cream maker is going to eliminate that process right and of course i mentioned it's a four quart capacity so let's see so this is the lid as i mentioned before and i'm just gonna go let me put this down because i don't need the cutter anymore yes so of course this is the protective cardboard and oh, look guys this is the actual ice cream tub with of course protective plastic and of course the invoice from Amazon of course as I said before I am going to be linking that uh, link in the description for you guys 
okay to continue with the unboxing of course it's the instructions now i don't usually read the instructions for these um things because i'm assuming they're pretty easy to use but if anything you know push comes to shove as we say here in the caribbean i will be pulling this out so this is going to go next to my easy lock lid and of course okay. <laughs> Yeah, everything is detached. <laughs> so I really would have to read the instructions to figure out what am I supposed to be doing, all right? So of course, the container that the ice cream is going, not the ice cream, that the ice is going to be going in. This is the container that the ice cream mixture will be poured into. And this goes in here. And then there's this. This is the paddle. I remember a little bit from my days of making ice cream when I was younger. So that will go there. And then of course, yeah, this is something I, um, I'll figure out what to do when I'm actually making the ice cream. Yes, yeah, so if you have intentions of making ice cream using Hamilton Beach, at least this will give you an idea as to what is inside. And I am going to be reading the instructions because yeah, I don't know about these new age things. Yeah, ice cream. Psych! <laughs> you guys really thought I was going to leave the video without actually showing you how to use the machine? What do you take me for? Anywho, let's go to the instructions. So it says, you will need approximately 8 to 12 pounds of ice and 3 cups of rock salt to make ice cream. Fast forward to the actual ice cream maker. So what I'm supposed to do is to grab uh, this, which is the dasher. <laughs> right, this, I insert it into the canister. If you notice, there's a center hole there. Insert it right down to the bottom. And then I use the cover and snap it firmly in place. Yes. And then of course, uh, the bucket, I insert here. Yeah, sorry guys, it's a bit noisy here. Insert this here. That's it. But of course, before you cover a big, big canister, you have to make sure and pour the mixture inside, yes? And then you cover it down. And of course, once it's filled with the ice cream content, yeah, the ice cream mixture, then just simply take the filled canister and put it inside the bucket. And then of course, you attach the you attach yeah the lid until it snaps firmly in place right so i'm going to figure this out after this video but that's pretty much it guys i thought it was going to be something more complex so i'm going to yeah this thing refuses to budge man so guys now that i have the lid the motto it's just a matter of fitting it over the the cover and there are little notches on the side so you fit this in place and on the other end it's like in the opposite direction right and it fits firmly in place and of course you have the plug that you will plug into your outlet and it starts the process of making your ice cream now according or oh, and i forgot the plug that you just simply plug it in here so that no water comes out during uh, the ice cream making process. Okay, so now that everything is firmly in place and we figured it out by simply reading the instructions, now it's just time to go whisk up my avocado and sour sub ice cream, put the mixture into the canister and get it going. Now apparently it takes only 20 minutes to harden the ice cream, but I'm going to go make sure that I have enough salt and what's the other thing salt and ice <laughs> duh to yeah to harden the mixture totally I don't want to put it in the freezer because that will just kind of defeat the purpose of having an ice cream maker so I'm going to make sure that I have sufficient uh, salt and ice to start the process so we have unboxed the Hamilton Beach ice cream maker. I've shown you how to set it up. It's easy peasy. If I could do it, then guess what? You guys will be able to do it too. So stay tuned for the actual video of the ice cream making process. And that may inspire you 
to try making some ice cream on your own but not just that it may inspire you to go out and get your own Hamilton Beach ice cream maker.